Hey there, fellow RimWorldians. We are back with another episode of Let's Learn RimWorld Together. And winter is uh, is fast approaching. We're almost halfway through, well, we're a third of the way through fall. We've still got a little few construction projects, but we have, uh, we've got all our pawns now in Parkers. And if we have a look in the gear section, here we go. Yes, we can see their comfortable temperature range. So that is, uh, that is pretty sweet. We can cycle through with the less than and greater than symbols and, uh, and see that everyone is kind of... This guy is the worst. Pacer is the worst because, uh, I guess, Kemmelheit Parker... I don't know. Uh, oh, because he's wearing a helmet uh, rather than a tuk. Uh And this guy has a cloth Parker rather than a Kemmelheit, so that explains the difference. All right. Uh, looks like... We failed to tame that guy, so we're just going to shoot that guy. Well, that seems fair. Hopefully they don't revenge, because Agamir is going to be in trouble if they do. No, nah, fine. So, our mission in the next few days is, of course, to uh, get ready for winter. Now, we've got a lot of meat. Um, we've got berries ready to be harvested. Pacer is mining for some reason. Uh, okay, let's... Check their work. Instead of mining, they really should be uh, harvesting. Cut or harvest. Uh, harvest crops. Yeah, Pacer should be harvesting. We do have some here ready for harvest. All right, let's uh, let's grab you. Ah, the wedding is on. Colonists are gathering to celebrate Pi's wedding. Ooh, it's chunks of spacecraft. Definitely want to grab that. Uh, who's missing? Agamir, come on, buddy. There we go, Pi and Peso getting married. This will give a nice little, uh, nice little mood, uh, mood buff. Let's uh, deconstruct this guy. And uh, before we do that, cancel the deconstruct of that. Uh, let's copy across our bills. Can't believe we forgot to do that. All right. Uh, we can delete these ones, paste that, delete, delete that, copy that, ah, bills, paste, delete, and deconstruct. Oh, we've had a fire, all right, uh, nope, did not want to do that, click the wrong button, there we go, all right, let's see where that is, jump to the location, that's oh, just over here, that's all right, um, the guys will wake up. And quickly put that fire out. There we go, they're all asleep, which is kind of a bit annoying. Um, our wind is dead, our solar is dead, we're out of electricity, so let's get that built. And once this room is built, we'll put a vent in there as well. Uh, and this is going to be our hospital, that's right, we're in the construction of that. Alright, now, so it is getting cold, it is negative 12 degrees, people are still comfortable, but... Um, okay, uh, we need to get some food, so I'm going to start by not taming that muffalo. We're just going to kill all those muffalos. Um, now, the danger here is, as you see, we've actually got uh, we've got two predators, two grizzly bears on the map. If we kill too much stuff, uh, they will start hunting our people, so we've just got to keep be mindful of that. And... Uh, and if we get low on wildlife, we actually have to sort of team up our guys to go kill the uh, kill the muffalo. Uh, now, what research are we doing, by the way? Uh, prisoner location. Let's just have a look where that is. That's actually really close. Um, I think we're we're probably good. We don't want to. Now, this is a, a common mistake in RimWorld is to go really big really early. And uh, yeah, it is it is super dangerous because especially coming in first winter. Your first winter is a bit of a challenge because if you haven't got uh, your food sorted, then uh, yeah, you're going to be in trouble. So we're going to try and uh, and get that going. Uh, now I guess that's because we're out of excess. We are actually. Uh, No, it looks like somewhere along the way our power line has been disconnected. There it is there. Okay. Uh, let's get Ben to uh, prioritize working on power conduit. 
whenever you have deconstructed that. Alright, machining is finished, uh, which means we can get to gunsmithing. Excellent. Um, now, with machining, it allows us to build a new production table, a machining table. We've got that there. And we'll build another one of these. Alright. Uh, so now, our temperature in here is getting up to 18. It's actually a little bit below. These are going to be working uh, pretty damn hard. I might actually build another one, especially if we're going to have that. We're going to have that there. We'll put a uh, we'll put another one here. Paces on it straight away. Getting the materials hauling in. Okay, we've got more animals being killed. Let's uh, start on some of these boars. Uh, when you're finished, can you actually clean uh, some dirt? Alright, now, uh, the other thing, yes, we need to start on some security, I think. Um, once these construction jobs are completed, uh, we are going to have a look. So who is our good constructors? Pi, who is our researcher, so I don't really want to use Pi. Um, ben and Sam. So Sam is our animal guy. Uh, not hunting. Why are you not hunting? Because you suck at shooting. Yeah, you're a Malaya. Alright, uh, are you actually a brawler? No, you're a nudist. Well, that's not going to suit you particularly well over winter. Uh, but what we are going to do is uh, we are going to build something like that. Uh, we'll build something like that. That last one's actually not required, but uh, that's fine. And uh, what we do want to do, though, is we want to have some doors available. Oops. Uh, some doors available so that we can get out into this southern area. So I'll pop on there. And a great little thing to do here is kind of a, uh, a door lock. And that way, if uh, if you start getting chased, you'll actually move in here and then this door closes. But if this door doesn't close, which sometimes happens if the chaser is really close to you, um, then this one stays closed and they don't get access into your base, which is pretty pretty handy. Alright, so while we're, uh, while we're doing that, let's expand this... Well, I mean, we, we might as well. We might as well just go like that. We'll do a uh, another doorway here. Uh, cancel, cancel, and door. There and there. All right. Now up here, we'll want to uh, we want to fence off this area, and then over here is where we'll build our entryway. Um, we want to leave a fair bit of room for expansion because, you know, expansion is nice. Uh, it would kind of be nice to have maybe some food growing over there, but we'll uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, there is a bunch here of guys. Alright, gunsmithing is finished. This is... Okay, so let's pause the game here. So now that we have gunsmithing, we can start making guns. And what I want to do is make a bolt-action rifle. Because, uh, these are my favourite guns and generally... Early on, they are some of the most accurate um, and, and damage-dealing weapons. But what we want to do is do until we have one. And in the details, we want to not count equipped. We want to make sure that one has more than 60% uh, yeah, hit points and is of, uh, let's say, normal quality. And the other thing we can do here is we actually look at our craftings. And see what skill we've got. So our best crafter has a skill of 11. So if we limit uh, before, let's just make sure we're actually going to do crafting. Uh, Sam is going to construct. Pi is never going to craft. Agamia is kind of our main crafter. He's only skill six. So we'll leave it. But uh, what you can do is you can actually limit the craft, the minimum crafting skill, and that way you don't waste materials on making poor quality stuff. But uh, we'll we'll risk it. So. Poor quality bolt action will be better than, uh, than nothing at this point. Alright, uh, ingredients, we're just going to leave that. So, uh, steel and components. We have a lot of steel and a lot of components, but we are going to start running low on those when we start, as we get more and more, uh, more and more advanced materials going. So, alright, let's... Uh, Let's get the construction going. 
Let's see what people are doing. So Pacer is hauling. Uh, ben is digging. Now Ben, you should not be digging. I think the problem is uh, we must be out of wood. And uh, I think we're definitely out of wood. Uh, I think wood should be in here. So what we need to do is get uh, get some people cutting cutting plants. And we have to wait till the morning, of course. Oh. Sam having a meal, having a sleep. All right. Everyone is in bed. Cotton plant. Here we go. So now all our plants are dying. And the stuff here that we haven't harvested, we are going to lose. And that is because the temperature is now uh, well below well below zero. Uh, we've got to set this to 18. There we go. And our indoors temperature is all right. Let's build another one of these here. So it's important that um, that the guys go early. Uh, here we go, grizzly, the grizzly bear just killed and ate a, uh, a, yeah, a wild boar. Here we go, so now we're cutting some wood. We've got plenty of wood. Um, let's turn that back down. And we'll get some construction happening. Excellent. Uh, who's actually not really doing much? So Sam is our constructor. Agamir is making rifles, which is very good. Uh, Pi is... Cooking. Yeah, Ben is another constructor playing horseshoes. And uh, Pacer is. What does Pacer do? Uh, Pacer is our warden. Ah, uh, hauling and cleaning. So let's get Pacer temporarily doing some plant cutting. It'll take her a while to cut down trees because her skill is so low. Uh, but that's okay. What is Ben's construction skill? Um, yeah, it's four. That's why I was watched. All right, got another raid uh, attacking immediately. So let's have a look. What we've got. got two people this time uh, with a revolver, which is actually quite scary. Revolvers are a very good weapon. All right. So do we have another bolt action? Where are we? Okay, we're here. Um, we have a poor quality bolt action, which is probably pretty good. Let's have a see here. Who's got what? Um, so you've got a knife, uh, but you're a brawler. Ben has a heavy, uh, heavy submachine gun. So revolver. Probably keep the revolver. Bolt action. Steel knife. Now I think you just had a sh really crappy shooting, but I think it's still better to uh, better to equip the bolt action and and not have to engage in uh, in the lane. And now once he gets it, let's get everyone ready and see where they are. Okay, they're up here. Let's get our guys to set up uh, in in this area over here. That'll give us a little bit of cover. Let's get Pacer over here. Alright, so Pacer, you're going to charge in because you're a crazy, crazy cat. Flanking. As you can see, they're in cover as well, which uh, isn't fantastic. But Pacer does the sneak attack from behind. Uh, now, we don't want Pacer to get shot, so we're just going to do that. Alright. So, let's uh, let's see what this guy's like. Woohoo! That is an amazing pawn that hates women, uh, loves getting hurt, and gets affected a lot so as you can see the awesome skill set is um, offset by these fairly poor traits but that is still a, uh, a pretty good skill set so we are going to capture that guy and we get the good revolver which is quite nice um, I think Pi is our medic uh, no Pacer is our medic Pi is our backup medic so let's get Ben to come up here and pull that away all right, we'll let the other one run away. I'm not too worried about that. But uh, yeah, this this pawn just has some really good skill sets, and we can probably survive without his traits. Um, so if we can keep him alive over winter, then uh, hopefully we'll be able to have another good member to our group. Uh, Pi will do some healing. 
We've got a permanent crack in the spine. Well, that's uh, that's not really good. That slows the moving by 30%. That is really bad. Um, unfortunate for uh, Sam, who does a lot of moving around. Uh, nothing in permanent there. Should have checked the injuries of this guy too. Uh, nothing permanent. Uh, left arm stab scar, which is just small efficiency change. All right. Uh, how's pacer? Uh, lost a leg and a bruise. Ah, uh, yeah, that lost the eye happened. Uh, I think fighting some other random stuff a while back. So things are looking pretty good. I'm pretty confident about our ability to survive this winter. Um, we've got a fair bit of meat. 1,000 meat. We've got 600 veg in our freezer, which doesn't really have to work too hard to uh, um, to heat up. What we should do, we should probably do something like uh, shrink this zone like that, and then build a copy of that and build a couple of these. So this is an airlock because this is heated to 18 degrees and this is not heated. Um, this will s basically have a door open uh, each way. And let's uh, let's get Ben to prioritize working over here. Uh, work, work, and yeah, you'll 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 get the rest of it surely. Gotta cut some more wood though. Always cutting the wood. All right, we've got our hospital done, so I am going to enable these uh, as medical beds. Um, and then this storage, we are going to clear all. And ooh, a psychic sue, that's pretty good. Uh, we are going to allow our medicines here. All right, psychic sue. It's beautiful for uh, females. We've got the one female. It's a bit man man heavy this base. Which is a bit weird. All right. Uh, there is our hospital. Let's put a light in here. Um, in case we want to do any sort of uh, medical operations. We'll, uh, might as well put some power over here in the walls, that's all good. Alright, um, yeah, that, I mean, again, this one here doesn't actually matter. Um, but, what I would like you is to haul that out of the way, please. Thank you. All right, so next step is I want to put some flooring in these rooms because uh, flooring increases the, the beauty and the beauty is uh, important to the mood of your pawns. Now, uh, one thing to do here too is we can actually hold these doors open, which, uh, which allows, allows quick movement through them and uh, it will speed up our, our movement out. But, now that I think about it, we're probably not going to uh, move through these areas all that often. Um, need a research project. Ah. Alright. Uh, so I'll turn these off. But in areas that you are moving through a lot, uh, it's good to hold those open and then you can have a uh, faster movement through. It doesn't have to wait for the door to be opened. And while I also think about it, um, this becomes a room and by default a uh, room has a roof, but we don't really want a roof here. Because um, that just makes it dark, and it's actually slow movement through uh, through darkness. All right, so our defenses are coming along somewhat. Again, we're out of wood. Um, let's have a look at some research now. So our next research we want to do, we could go down this way and get some more machine guns into gun turrets, which is probably what would be really nice. Um, the other option is to start looking at things like back armor. Uh, or we could go down the path of uh, having some uh, hydroponics. Yeah, that's actually... Uh, hydroponics would be pretty good uh, because, especially in winter, we'll be able to grow stuff the whole time. Um, auto doors are also really great. There's a lot of stuff that is really good. Um, but I think we need to work on our defences. And that means... Flak armour... Yeah, let's go with flak armor first, and then we'll move into uh, gun turrets and get down here for assault rifles. There's lots of stuff to go. All right, lots of research to go, but 
Looks like our construction is complete around there. So we can continue this. Uh, now, some of this is water, isn't it? Mud, 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 yeah. So we can't actually build, uh, we can't build walls on mud. Uh, but we can, looks like we can build it along here. I don't I actually want to give a bit of space to that geothermal. So we can do something like this. Alright, we're going to manhunt a pack. Uh, nope, can't do that. Well, uh, we've got the game paused, so let's uh, let's just see what we can do with this. There we go, that's good. Alright, we'll build it up to there. That's nice. What is that? Uranium ore. Oh man, that is beautiful. Alright, we can cancel these, we can cancel that. Um, not sure why that didn't get placed. All right, we want to uh, we want to put put open a uh, door somewhere here for access around here. I'm going to say about here is probably not going to work uh, because we may not be able to build up there. Yep, that's right. All right, let's do that. Build a copy here, here. Cancel that. Build a copy there, like that. All right, and that just leaves uh, this big opening here, which we will then uh, turn into a turn into a, uh, a kill zone. We'll see what that is. But first, let's have a look at what we got. Um, we have an item stash. Others will take it. Uh, there may be danger. Tech prof, tech prof sub persona core. We need that for a, our launch in the end. 17 glitter world and 75 high quality. That's pretty good. Um, it's not that far because we're in a road. We could send someone to, to have a look at that, and we might do that if uh, we get out of winter and it's still around. Uh, no, that's not happening. So that's only around for 26 days. Uh, so we'll still be in winter. Anyway, we have a pack of manhunting alpha beavers. How many are in here? Uh, it looks like just two, two alpha beavers. All right, we can, uh, we can handle that. Now, uh, manhunting packs... You can actually just hide in rooms, uh, which is a nice little uh, nice little trick if you're you're into that. But uh, we're just going to get over here and we're just going to face them. I think we're pretty well out, uh, pretty well equipped to kill these guys off without too much too much problems. Uh, let's get you up here into the melee, and it looks like yeah, there we go. No uh, no injuries at all. There we go. So hopefully yeah, Agamir will uh, bring that in and get ready for some butchering. Um, can you actually uh, yeah, clean this room while you're at it? Prioritize cleaning. Just do that a few times. Just make sure he cleans the whole room. There's some sweet mods that actually allow you to, um, to just right click and go uh, clean room. And it's very, very handy. But again, we're just playing vanilla RimWorld, so here we are. Alright, temperatures here are good, um, these guys are using low power, yeah that's nice, temperature over here is not so good, it's a big room, uh, it's not uncomfortable, we can have a look at our, uh, our needs here, heat without table, why would, you, why would you do that, I wonder if we've got a need for a couple more chairs in our table here, it's probably also uh, just throw in a bit of wreck. Throw in a uh, chest table. Uh, Billy's table takes up a lot of room, as you can see, but poker table uh, is actually uh, not, not too much of an issue. Uh, we need cloth. And unfortunately, our, our cloth was destroyed, wasn't it? Because that just needs wood. So, uh, winter has begun. Psychic Soothe has ended. We are now in winter. Temperatures are getting cold. Um, let's not have a roof. Why is there snow in there? Um, move roof. There's a roof. Okay, we just need to uh, clear some snow out here, please. Now uh, we can. So snow does slow you down. We could make some paths in here where we clear snow, um, which would speed up our pawns' movement. If there's anywhere really important, um, but honestly, there's there's just not at this stage. We're not um, we're not really in the need of 
uh, of doing that kind of stuff at this point. Let's uh, chop some trees over here to build up our area. Uh, there's a lot of blood over here. Looks like we had a uh, some kind of kill happening, probably from either our wolf or the surrounding grizzlies. All right, what's that there? A snowman. Wow, I have never seen that before. I guess someone uh, socially socially did that. Um, I just didn't want to do that. I wanted to clean. Uh, is Agamir our cook? I thought someone else was our cook. Uh, yeah, no, Agamir is our cook. Alright. Hauling wood, uh, probably not that important, buddy. Don't you have better things to do? Probably not. We might have enough simple meals. Uh, 30 simple meals, yeah. Ooh, we're thrombos, okay. So these guys... Uh, oh, I've been failed. Uh, these guys are pretty hard to kill but their fur is like super good um, and their horns can be sold for a lot of money. Uh, but I don't know if we are ready. I mean, I think we need to try. Oh man, a mega sloth got killed. It's like these guys fought it out to the death. Um, that is actually uh, really, really cool. And it looks like the whole bit the whole bit is there. Shot off. Well, that seems all right. Um, yeah, so this guy has... We've lost a fair bit of meat off him, but that's all right. Um, once you've done that, haul that grizzly bear in. You can't let that meat go to waste, especially if these these guys are going to start eating it. And every time these guys come in to eat... All right, the thrombos is here. It doesn't, it doesn't um, aggro on us. Um, but we might want to, we might want to give it a killing. Uh, what we'll just killed something then? Uh, ben, why aren't you getting that? Uh, relaxing socially, what? I asked you to get it. Uh, now, the good thing is, in winter too, these corpses free, so... Uh, yeah, they don't actually do anything. Look, look uh, what, how much time we got left? We are approaching the end. I think it's time that we... Tried to kill this thrombo. And what we want to do is we want to spread out. Um, and that way they'll uh, the thrombo will only attack one person at a time. Um, unfortunately, Pacer is not going to be of any use at this point. Um, okay, so we can attack the thrombo. And what we want to do here is whoever it goes through, we want to, uh, we want to get this guy and move away. These thrombos do a lot of damage. Hopefully we can get some kind of leg shot that slows him down. And it doesn't look good for Agamir, that's for sure. Agamir is down. Alright, we can still we can rescue him as long as we uh, as long as we kill this thrombo. This is what I mean, like this is the, the thing, they're they're quite hard, quite hardy. Um, death in 17 hours is not gonna help us. Getting some good hits in though. Uh, death in 10 hours, that's looking better. What we do want to check though is Agamir. Uh, death in 8 hours, alright. So, uh, who is over here? I need you to go rescue Agamir. Uh, now, Ben, you're in trouble. Oh yeah, that's, that's tough. Another good shot. Alright, he's bleeding, he's bleeding badly. I don't know if this is worth it, but it's been fun anyway. Uh, they're now in cover. We've got to try and get out of cover. Uh, yes, so he's moving his paw, which is great. Though. He's slowed down. We've got six hours to the eyes. Just keep Ben running. What's Ben's health like? We probably should check that too, because he copped a... Oh, a crack in the leg, which slows his movement, which isn't good. All right, there we go. Ah, yes. All right. Uh, Pi, Ben, Sam. All that thrombo. 
Uh, was it worth it? Well, we'll see. We'll see if uh, Agamir survives. The health of Agamir. Uh, Agamir's been carried, of course. Okay, in, into the hospital. Uh, Pacer. Prioritize tending. Already tending to Agamir. Death in five hours. Okay, we've, we've got it. Uh, he lost a little toe and a big toe to Frostbite. Ooh. Okay, well, um, that's no good. I don't think anyone else is uh, particularly suffering. No, we're, we're okay. All right. So Agamir will now heal up. Uh, yep, everything is tended to. That's great. So, whew, uh, we got our Thrombo. And we'll butcher that Thrombo, of course. Um, and that will give us a Thrombo Horn. Get rid of that. Amongst other things. Um, I really want someone to... Uh, okay, no cleaning. What about Sam? When you're done there, uh, clear the snow. Just doesn't seem right having snow in the hospital, does it? Um, again, there's no like, there's no negative debuffs for it. It might possibly add a bit of... Uh, oh, really? That, you, you're going to do that. One bit at a time. Alright, well, so be it. I guess it's not worth our time doing it. Like I said, it's just uh, probably a beauty thing. Uh, we can check the ratings of rooms here. Uh, it's quite ugly. That wasn't the one I wanted, though. Um, beauty display, here we go. Yeah, negative one for the snow, but also negative one for the, uh, for the ground. So it doesn't actually matter. Ah, oh, yes, here we go. The next thing, uh, a disease, infection in the lung for Agamir. Um, so, infected uh, leg, not lung. Um, and as we see, so the things to note on an infection are uh, the infection level, which is currently minor 0.66%, and immunity, which is zero. So you need, immunity needs to get above, or get to 100% before infection gets to 100%. If infection gets to 100%, uh, Agamy will die. Uh, if immunity gets to 100% first, Agamy will live. And we just need to make sure that uh, Pacer, I need you to prioritize tending to Agamir straight away. Forget about feeding Stow. So uh, attending now, attending with infection. So it's now tended, uh, but tending expires in 14 hours. And as you can see, the immunity is 5%, 6%. So immunity is slightly higher than the infection, as long as that tending stays. Um, but we've got to make sure that every 14, 15 hours, um, Agamir gets tended for the infection to keep the immunity going faster than the infection. Well, uh, at this point, I think, uh, oh, it looks like we might have dropped his weapon. Uh, here it is. Oh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get that. Uh, who's in the area? Pacer's in the area. Just quickly, uh, quickly haul that, thanks. And then you can go off to sleep. Uh, yes, yeah, so we have we have the uh, we have the thrombo. That was a success. Agamir probably will live. Um, the infection, as long as you keep tending it, as you can see, immunity is already fastly outpacing the infection. Uh, he will be fine. Uh, we are getting a bit low on medicines, leaving us only with herbal meds, uh, which we do not have a good supply. So that's just something to mind, be mindful of. Not engage if we don't have to in uh, in fights, uh, and we need to definitely get our security up and running. So uh, that is where I'm going to end this episode. Now we are going to uh, keep going. Next episode, I think we're going to focus on more of our defenses. That's probably what we need to do, uh, and get those gun turret research happening as well. And then we'll be kind of set to start expanding our production and making our area a little a little nicer. All right, well, as always, I'd love to hear your comments down below. Let me know any other things that you'd like to see me do or explain. Uh, I will endeavor to do it to my best ability. I don't necessarily uh, know everything, but we can certainly try some things out and just see what happens. And I'll see you tomorrow.